In Washington, police say they're taking no chances as they get ready for a rally today in support of the January 6th rioters who stormed the nation's capital. More than 600 people have been charged for taking part in that deadly assault. Of those, about 60 are locked up, either awaiting trial or having already been convicted. This morning, fencing that was removed months after the failed insurrection is back up along two streets running alongside Capitol Hill. Jeff Pegues is there. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Police here putting the final touches on their security plan, and that includes putting up posters like this one. Notices saying all firearms prohibited within a thousand feet of this demonstration, and it's right behind these huge snow plows. Obviously, not out here to clear the snow. This is part of the security apparatus in place, right across from where the rally is going to take place. You see the Capitol there. Police in the foreground, you have barricades around, and anyone coming to this demonstration, they're still going to be about a quarter mile away from the Capitol. Capitol Hill is on high alert. There are layers of barricades, fencing, and security cameras, canine units patrolling nearby Union Station. We're not going to tolerate violence. The Capitol Police Chief acknowledged that violence was a possibility. In your view, are those threats of violence credible? We don't know with any certainty. But what we do know is that um, this, uh, the chatter that we heard prior to January 6th obviously turned out to be, um, uh, many of those threats turned out to be, in fact, uh, credible. There was far less security on January 6th, and the resulting attack that wounded more than 100 officers and led to five deaths has prompted Capitol Police this time around to deploy everyone available Saturday with 100 National Guard troops on standby just blocks from the Capitol. Capitol Police say that they are most concerned about the potential of clashes between protesters and counter-protesters. In my opinion, that's the most likely uh, scenario for violence. Rally organizer Matt Brainerd, a former Trump campaign staffer, says the event, which will include calls for the imprisoned January 6 rioters to be released, will be peaceful. The Capitol Police know that we are no threat. This is a theater to deter people from attending. But experts worry that it could serve as a recruiting event for future violent activities. The thing to watch out for is the idea that this is a networking opportunity. Uh, and I think what we need to worry about is not what just happens on Saturday, uh, but it's how this movement changes and morphs. And there is also, as we mentioned, this big concern about counter protesters, clashes uh, created by, by counter protesters who show up here. They're expecting about 700 people to show up for the primary protest, the justice for J6. And you can see already police are in place. You have these big barriers with these snow plows here too. They are ready for anything. They don't want any sort of slip ups uh, similar to what, what happened on January 6th. So they've done a lot of work, a lot of preparation ahead of this rally. Michelle. And it looks like it. Jeff, thank you so much.